Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to spin your wedges like the pros. I wanna to talk to you today about Live View Golf. Now you guys hear me say all the time that you need feedback when you're practicing. You need to know if you're actually doing what you're trying to do. And the best way to give yourself feedback ultimately is video. And not only is video the best way to give yourself feedback, but being able to see yourself simultaneously as you're doing a movement is the best form of video feedback. It's the best way I've seen to make changes in your swing and be able to correlate the differences between your feels and your reels. Live view is super easy to use and set up. Simply set it up behind or in front of you. You connect it with your iPad or phone, pop that on the ground. You can actually do your practice, see yourself as you're doing it, the best way to expedite your process. I encourage you guys to check out Live View Golf. We'll put a link in the description down below with a coupon code. All right, guys, so let's talk about how to spin your wedges like the pros. We're out here at the beautiful Weston Savannah Resort and Spa, and we're here with Mr. Andrew Rice. Now, if you don't know who Andrew is, Andrew is one of the best golf coaches in the world. He's a top 50 Golf Digest coach and the number one uh, coach from Golf Digest in the state of Georgia. He runs the Andrew Rice Golf Schools down here at the Weston Savannah that would really highly urge you guys to check out. We'll include a link in the description down below for that. But without any further ado, let's bring Andrew in and let's talk about how to spin your wedges. All right, guys, so let's talk about how to spin your wedges like the pros. We're super lucky here to have Mr. Andrew Rice with us. Andrew, thanks for coming out today. I think I'm the lucky one. Yeah, we're Come happy on, to have you. We're happy to have you. So what we're going to talk about today is how to increase your spin. Uh, yeah. with your wedges and, and go a little bit in depth with that and share some things with you that Andrew that I've learned from Andrew and so I'm super excited and um, let's go ahead and switch spots and dig right into it. Let's yeah? do it. Let's do it Eric. Uh, you know I think the first thing that we want to talk about is and really this what this whole video is all about is the interaction between the club face and the golf ball. Yes. Okay and uh, we want to keep that as clean as possible because clean contact means more friction more grip and all of that leads to more spin so i'm right. gonna without any further ado i'm gonna run a little experiment we've got TrackMan up and running here yes, so sir. that we can quantify some of these numbers i'm gonna hit these shots off of a tee um, not because it's gonna make it easier although i certainly don't mind that it's off of a tee <laughs> uh, but we're just gonna try to run a clean experiment and i really just want to paint the picture yep. um, for a lot of your viewers out there so that they can start to understand wow um friction and how that club face grips the cover of the golf ball makes a big difference love it okay so love i've got my 58 degree i hit pitch shots with my 58 uh, for many of your viewers, that might be something different. Hopefully not more loft than a 58. I find typically better with a little less loft. Got it. Okay, so 56, 55, 54 in that range would work best for most people. Yeah. Um, I've got clean, dry range ball, regular, just a regular range ball here. And I'm going to try to hit this around 50 yards. Okay, Andrew, here we go. And so I thought that was a little bit, what was the dynamic loft on that, Eric? So dynamic loft was 36.5. Yes, that was thin. That's so good. Okay, I'm going to do another one. It was 47.8. <laughs> okay. So yeah, pretty it was close. Down there. It was okay. close. Uh -huh. But that was definitely thin. Yeah. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to boot that. Let me try that again. I'm a little nervous here. Yeah? <laughs> that was better. Look good. Go. I think we're going to be close there on that one as okay, well. Okay, so... Um, dynamic loft, uh, I'm typically looking for something around mid 40s. Okay, what is dynamic loft? Yeah. It's simply the, the loft of the club as it runs into the back of the golf ball. Got it. Okay, so I've taken my 58 and turned it down to 44 on that particular shot. Perfect. The ball launched at 31, the spin rate was 6,500, carry 47. Pretty close. That's okay. pretty darn good. Next one, now I'm going to take a Pro V1. Okay. okay, a yep. premium golf ball. Doesn't necessarily have to be a Pro V1. Lots of premium golf balls out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm going to give this club face a wipe. Just get some golf ball residue off of there. And there's our wet towel. It yeah. will be making an appearance in a minute. Okay, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to try to hit the same shot. Here we go. 
That felt good. You got that 50 yard shot down pat? Yes, I've, I've hit more than a few of those. So let's see what this one says here. Okay, dynamic loft 43.2, very similar. Okay, yep. less than one degree difference. The ball launched slightly lower. The spin rate slightly up. Yeah. 6,800, so three, what was it? 300 RPMs more? Yeah, yeah. 6,500 to 6,800, 300 RPMs. Um, and the carry was 48, okay? Same thing. Now, watch this. Yep. This is the fun part. And Eric, if you could, yeah. um, pour some water on this ball and club face. Yes, I can do that. As I play this shot, please. I can do that. So watch the massive difference well, Just here. right on top okay, here? Okay, on the ball, on the club face, and I'll whack it. Thank you. Is that good? Perfect. Okay. Here we go. Watch this ball flight. Straight up in the air. So you still got the 50 down pat water I still or not? Got the okay, 50 still got the 50 down, down I, I, I've hit, I've hit 48.3, okay. Um, so dynamic loft in the same ballpark, mid yep. 40s. Yep. Um, the launch went up 10 degrees, Yeah. okay. And the spin rate, 3,500. So the spin rate was cut in half. So talk me through that. Okay, so why? Essentially, we put water on the ball and on the club. Yep. Um, and what happened there was uh, the ball effectively hydroplaned off the face, okay? Yep. The ball slipped up the face, and too often people misunderstand the role of grooves. The role of grooves is they're there just like the tires on our car, okay? We have grooves on our tires, not to grip the road better, but to act as a hiding place, a channel for moisture and matter to get out of the way so we can still get those bits of rubber in between the grooves okay. in contact with the road. Okay, that's going to keep our car on the road. That's going to keep our golf ball on the green. So say that one more time. The grooves are not there for what? Their, they... their primary purpose is not spin. Yes, got it. Their primary purpose is a hiding place. Yep. Okay, that channel, whether it's a square groove or a V groove, that channel is there so that moisture can get pushed into that and the ball can still get some contact with the flat spots between the grooves. Okay. okay. Yeah. Got and it. And so now this is all kind of cool and golf geeks I like love you it. and I, I like this it. stuff. Yes, sir. Okay. But what can golfers take home? What can the takeaway be here? Yeah. Um, I think what we need to understand is that uh, there is a frictional component. Okay. The cover is going to be gripped by the club face to some degree. Yeah. Um, what can we do to turn that volume up? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Number one, professional grade wedge. Get yourself a good wedge, okay? Yeah. Don't just have, you know, seven, eight, nine pitching gaps, sandwich, and extension of your set, okay? Yeah. Get yourself a professional grade wedge, a scoring wedge, yeah. okay? Keep it nice and clean, very uh -huh. important, okay? Yeah. Keep it clean. I often have people come to my golf schools and they say, Andrew, I want to learn how to hit that spinning pitch shot. And I go, well, that's easy. What golf ball do you play? Well, any ball that I find, yeah. okay, yeah. that's a problem. Yeah. If you're not finding good premium golf balls, you're not going to be able to spin the ball as much as the pros. Okay. And, and in terms of keeping your wedge clean, yes. preferred and not preferred ways to do that? Oh, certainly. Okay. That's, that, this is, thank you for that segue there, Eric. Um, the wet towel, the damp towel, yes. so, so important. And why is a damp towel better, and I know I'm sure many of you use a T um, to clean the grooves out. Why is a towel better than a T? The T cleans only the inside of the groove. The towel cleans the flat spots, and the flat spots really are more important than the grooves. The towel when we... cleans the flat spots. This is going to learn something here. Okay, okay the yeah. The towel yeah. cleans the flat spots yes. and the groove, whereas the T got cleans it. only the groove. And it's the flat spot that is going to get in contact. Think about it, those little the, those grooves in your tires, Formula One race car tires, one big flat spot, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Smooth, soft, they can grip the road, they can go around the corners faster. And that's a really subtle explanation and thing there that, uh, to be honest with you, like when I'm in there, I, yeah. I have my, my tee out doing the yeah, grooves like yeah, that yeah. too, but the, the sole function there is not for the spin. It's right, not. So it doesn't, yeah, the got primary it. purpose is not spin. Got it. It's channeling matter, moisture, most often moisture, out of the way. Got it. So, okay. so we have a premium wedge. We're cleaning it with a wet towel, not a tee. Correct. We've got a premium golf ball. Premium golf ball. Yeah. Um, and the rest is up to us. Let's let's make sure we hit fairways. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can get cleaner contact out the fairway than we can out of the rough. 
Um, and also know this, here's an yeah. interesting one. If you're playing early in the morning and there's a lot of dew out, okay, you're not going to be able to hit that really sexy low launch, high spinning, one hop and stop pitch shot. Um, simply because as the club comes into the golf ball, believe it or not, the club will actually contact the grass before it gets to the ball, even on good strikes. Yes. And so we'll have some water interrupting that friction between the face and the ball. And so if we were going to put an order of importance, yes. and I came to you and I said, hey, prioritize that for me. Yeah. And I said, what's the, the first thing I'm going to do for more spin would be which one of those? I'm going to clean my club face. Clean club. Yeah. Clean Simple. Club. We can all do that. Everyone can do that. What percentage of golfers that you work with would you say clean their clubs the right way, let's say, after each time they hit it? Uh, Over or under? Uh, 25. Right, okay. Okay, I thought you were going to say what percentage of golfers clean their clubs. Yeah, I flipped that on you, reverse <laughs> yeah. that on yeah. yeah, I think we got the, the other and so 75. What's crazy about that is if that's true, let's say a ballpark is right, maybe 75% of golfers who want more spin, yeah. don't get it because their clubs aren't clean enough. Correct. Not, Correct. not, not in that technique, maybe not right, technique. potentially. Not right? technique. It starts with something simple that we can all do. That would be priority number one. Yep. Would number two be? Premium ball. Premium ball number Premium two. Premium ball. Yeah. Okay, premium ball. Um, and then, you know, conditions, yeah. the situation. The lie, are you into the grain? Is it wet? Are you in the rough? Are you in the fairway? Yeah. Um, is it dry? Those kind of things are going to make a big difference. Those kind of things are going to affect it. And so, and we'll, I don't know if there's a tough way to pose this to you, but obviously when we have people come in, they say yeah. all the time, hey, I watch the tour pros spin their wedges so yeah. much. What do they do different? How do I spin it like them? If you had to, yeah. what percentage of why the tour pros on TV spin it as much as they do, what percentage is that of the things we just talked about, clubs, ball conditions, and what percent is technique and skill, if you had to separate those two pieces? It's 90% of what we've spoken about is why they're spinning it. 90%? Yeah. yeah. And so, like that's powerful in and of yeah. itself. Yeah, that's a great question actually. And I think, and if it is 90%, and someone comes and wants to spend time to improve their spin, that means 90% of their focus should be on those areas yeah. first, yeah. check mark those boxes before going through the technique pieces that you may put in. Definitely. Is Definitely. that fair? There, there is nothing, golfers seem to be under the impression that there's something mystical and magical about spin. Like you've got to do something as the club head runs into the ball. Let's keep in mind, impact lasts for one two thousandth of a second. Yeah. What can I do magically <laughs> during that one two Nothing. thousandth of a second to spin the ball more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, really all I can do is I can strike the ball properly. That's up to, I mean, that's my technique. That's up to me. That's my skill. Yeah. Um, but the other things uh, are so simple and so easy to take care of yeah. uh, that that's what's going to start to make the big difference. Love okay. it. So in terms of spin, um, let's cover those things first, right? Let's check mark those easy boxes. Yeah. Let's make sure we have a premium wedge. Um, let's make sure we have a premium ball, yeah. a clean club, good conditions. And then let's cover the, the technique pieces that we'll talk about in other videos uh, to make sure our contact is solid. Correct. Anything else on spin, Andrew, or is that a pretty good overview in terms of what the uh, person could take in terms of knowledge and what they can do to get more spin? I think one more little thing I'd like to add, Eric, is um, golfers are also under the false impression that more loft equals more spin. Okay. Um, and we get to a point where spin actually starts to come down. Uh, golfers seem to think that um, a 64 degree wedge is going to give me a lot more spin. And that's why I believe so many golfers have those kind of clubs in their bag. Yeah. Um, it's going to give me a lot more spin. Um, it doesn't actually, it actually spins the ball less. I find that way more golfers will spin the ball more with their 54 than they will with their 60. Why is that? Okay, because they're, we're getting into fancy terms here, but yeah, yeah. spin loft, okay. Got it. Um, when we get beyond a certain point, spin is going up, 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 and as the loft get, continues up, spin will actually get to a point where it starts to come down. Got it. Okay. Got it. And that 64 degree, um, we don't realize it, but we're relying on stopping the ball this way. No spin on that, but it stopped quickly. Interesting. Um, high launch, high land angle, yes. that'll get it to stop. Okay. And yep. so 
we're going to do better. Why, when we're, when we're just off the edge of the green, do we hit a bump and run or do we hit a flop shot? We all are going to choose the bump and run. Why? Because it's easier to control. Absolutely. Okay? And so when we go 64 and we start hitting these really, you know, uh, nuclear pitch shots that go way up in the air, right. um, we start to lose control. We're not spinning it more. We might stop it quickly, but we're not spinning it anymore. Stopping okay. it because of the trajectory difference. Exactly. Yeah. That yeah. Land, land angle is so steep, like that golf ball just stopped. That had no spin on it though. Love it. Okay. Beautiful. Um, that is difficult to control. And ultimately, we want to hit higher spin, lower launch pitch shots, so we can start to get them up and down. Okay. Absolutely. Start to get them up and down. Control the ball flight better. Control, control how much the ball. it spins out. Absolutely. For sure. And so, listen, guy, you feel good with that for spin? Yeah, I, I, I like that. Even for me, you know, and I think that's powerful, is that little thing about the tee versus the wet towel. Yeah. And, and, and for me, being able to learn, that means there's a lot of people who are going to learn from that, too. And little subtle adjustments that they can actually control and get out of the mindset that I need to make all these mechanical improvements mm. to improve my spin. Correct. Which I think was the, kind of the big picture of what we wanted to talk about yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. So... Guys, that's spin, learning how to spin it like the pros. Hopefully that information um, helps move you in the right direction and take some of your time and focus out of areas where it doesn't necessarily have to be so you can get more spin and ultimately play better golf. Listen, if you guys want to learn more about wedges, I really highly urge you to check out the wedge project that Andrew put together. I really think it can help take your wedge game to the next level. We're going to go ahead and put a link in the uh, description down below for that. And if you want to learn more about how to golf better and enjoy this beautiful Weston Resort back here, please come down and hang out with Andrew at one of his golf schools. We'll go ahead and put a link for that below. Andrew, thanks for hanging out with us today. This was awesome, man. Thanks, brother. Thank you guys. Enjoyed it. Absolutely. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, do us a favor. Click the like button down below. Click the notification bell. Also, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.